Hey, it's Aaron, and today we'll be going through the solution for Screw Pack. This puzzle is a level 8 on the Puzzle Master difficulty scale. This puzzle and many others are available at puzzlemaster.ca. Okay, so this is a packing puzzle as the name suggests. We have a bunch of screws inserted into this black frame, and our goal is to take it apart and put it back together again. To start with, we will take our red screw out. Nothing special about it per se, just rotate it out. And our next piece will be purple. Then we can take out our white piece. So, and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pull it and let it slide out. The orange piece will rotate to alleviate it if it needs space. Then we can just take our orange piece out, just rotate it so the gap is against there. And same with the yellow. Same with the green and the blue. Now this is where this puzzle gets tricky. Now we have just a black frame, a bunch of pieces, and a bunch of threads that are specific to where each piece should go. This is where this gets tricky. This is more or less a puzzle of due diligence and just making sure each piece works as you go. Really the first two pieces are the linchpins. If you get these situated properly, then the rest of the puzzle goes together pretty easy. So to start with, we will take our blue piece and we're going to be looking for a couple things, but first off, our two grooves have to be facing the inside. They have to make the two adjacent spots into circles. And when it does that, it needs to be flush. So we can maybe see here that this isn't flush. So this isn't the place for this. So we'll keep trying spots and it flushes and it does that. Now there's a third thing we need to look for. And that is that the screw, the actual threads are lining up with the threads on the piece. This has to make a congruent thread and it is not. So that means this piece is upside down. So we will rotate it and now it doesn't flush. So we will keep trying spots. Doesn't flush, doesn't flush. This one flushes, grooves are to the side, and if we look at the threads, they do match up. They make a, you look at the peaks of the threads between the groove there and the thread there, and that should make one continuous line. You ignore the little nibs there. Continuous screw and that'll be on both sides. So our first piece is in a possible correct position. Now I gotta take our green piece and we will rotate it in. And now it's grooves. I need one there and I need one where it is right now. Now to start with, regardless, it should, the two screws should line up which they do. So that means this piece is an upside down. We're good on that. And we actually got lucky. Our threads over here line up. If our threads over here do not line up, we need to actually find a new place for this blue piece and try this green one again and try to line it up. But we're good, so we'll continue going. It's just more or less trying a spot with the blue than the green. Once you're in this position where the green lines up with its corresponding side, 
the green lines up with the blue, and the blue lines up with both sides, and they're both flushed, we're good. This is the proper setup, and now we don't have to worry about the threads too much. So our next piece is going to be yellow, and I'm going to purposely flip this upside down to kind of show you what happens when it's upside down. So you just rotate the green a little, you place it in, and now these grooves need to be facing out, but we can see that it doesn't flush. So this piece is upside down. So we got to take it out and rotate it. Unfortunately, this puzzle, well, not unfortunate. I mean, it is what the puzzle is, but it's not a fast solution. It's, you're going to have to trial and error it. There's no instant solution for you. So threads line up, threads line up, which there's no doubt that they would at this point, and it flushes. So that means it doesn't, it's not upside down. Our two grooves are facing to the adjacent slots. So we're good on that. And we just keep going down the line like that. It should go faster and faster as you go. And you're always just pointing the grooves on any of these pieces to the adjacent spots. So we put this yet yeah, orange in, and now it's our white piece. And of course, if you have this piece upside down, it just won't flush. So just flip it over if it's not flushing. And what you will do, not what I've done, <laughs> is you will have your first groove on the side facing the blue, and you'll just slip it in. You might need to rotate the orange to accept it, and then it should just push in, and we're flush. And then from there, we put the purple beside the blue, and we should just be able to screw it in. Once again, if it doesn't flush, it's upside down, and you just need to flip it and screw it into position. And then our final piece, a red piece, which as long as it screws in, you should be able to flush it. There's no defining characteristics about it. Okay, and that's it solved. We can see everything's nice and flush, and we're good. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, we have plenty more like it on our YouTube channel. Haven't had enough? Join our community on Facebook or Instagram. Want more puzzles? We have a massive catalog of puzzles at puzzlemaster.ca.